close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, I just finished work. It's 12 o'clock and I'm listening to the Morning Toast podcast. I mentioned in the last vlog that I really enjoy listening to podcasts when I'm driving and commuting to and from work. Usually I listen to Evolve by Erica on my way to work, but her episode today was only like 15 minutes. I listened to that really quickly. It was really insightful. She was talking about social media and the influx of information that we get every day and how easily accessible everything we want is and how to balance that out and how to kind of eliminate so much outside noise all the time, which I think everyone obviously could benefit from, especially in the last two years. I just think that we've learned so much more about balance and alignment and we're sort of searching for more of that in our daily lives. But since it was 15 minutes, I am now listening to The Morning Toast. I love The Morning Toast. I listen to it all the time. It's just sort of like pop culture news and things like that, but it's, it's just these two girls and I enjoy listening to them. It's one of like the more fun podcasts I listen to, but it's still really early. I need to go to the grocery store and I want to pick up some more plants for the back area of our house. We have a lot of planters that I want to fill and there's an area coming down along the side of our driveway that like wraps into that backyard seating area that I want to put something cute there to like lead in. It's like the photographer in me. I'm like, I wanna add a lead in. And the other thing I'd really like to get done today since tomorrow's supposed to actually be nicer than today, which is insane because it's 72 and sunny and gorgeous. But the other thing that I really want to do is I want to really deep clean our bathroom in terms of like taking everything out of the medicine cabinet, scrubbing the grout, cleaning the shower heads, things like that. Our bathroom is not very big, so it really shouldn't take a lot of time. I'm assuming it's gonna take like one to two hours total. We're in like full on spring cleaning mode. I cleaned the kitchen yesterday, like the windows, the moldings, everything, and it just feels so good at this time of year to kind of have that like reset. Anyway, I'm on my way towards the apartment. I'm still in Connecticut right now. I'm driving to New York, but the grocery I'm gonna go to for today is the one that is also next to like Lowe's and Home Depot so that I can just see what they have in their garden section. Also on my to-do list is to plant all the plants that we got over the weekend and sort of figure out what else I want to get back there. Since it's nice out, um, that'll be something I can do outside. It's something that's also grounding, right? Like putting your hands in dirt and things like that. It's, hard to find ways to ground when you live in the city, but I feel like that's a good way to kind of be in nature and like touching like dirt because I don't have a yard or anywhere that I can like walk on grass barefoot or a beach that I can go like walk on the sand or put my feet like in the ocean. One day, one day we will, we will have that, but not yet. Storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on
from the grocery store really quickly. I got kale, to make salad. I got two things of this oat milk. Um, crab cakes. I got two of these Stumptown um, cold brew coffees. And then I got a large cold brew from La Colombe. They're my favorite cold brew coffee brand. And I got some chia seeds because we're running low on chia seeds. Why is this not focusing? I've never seen these before. They're stone and skillet English muffins. They look really good. And these are the cinnamon raisin. I got some strawberries, some shiitake mushrooms, and Coco Yo yogurt. Roasted and seasoned potato wedges and some olives um, just for like salads and bowls and things like that. And the last two things I got are just Olipop drinks. I've been craving soda and obviously I don't really want to have soda. So I figured I'd get the cola and the orange cream. And that's everything I got from the grocery store. As you guys saw, I went to the grocery store, I went to Lowe's after work, and I just put away the groceries. I'm cooking up the crab cakes right now. I think I'm gonna try to plant some of the plants today, or at least like figure out where I want them to go um, and go from there. Rob is not home, so he can't help me. He's at work, but I'm gonna try to see if he can help me later. We're probably going to do that next, but I need this, I need this pick me up right now. Normally I work out Wednesday mornings before I go to work and I had my alarm set for 5.15 and it went off and I was just like, not even physically exhausted just like mentally exhausted like i just couldn't fathom like trying to put any energy into doing anything at that point and even driving to work i just felt kind of like unaligned i guess but i also normally meditate in the morning before i had to work and i did not have time this morning i kind of like rushed so I think I'm gonna have to do like a nighttime meditation this evening and um, I also need to do my journaling I just kind of like there's something that just goes like hand in hand for me I just have to do them together I just feel like my mind is more clear and calm after I meditate so I put down my thoughts in a manner that makes more sense like I've tried to journal first and my mind just is like flying all over the place and when i go back and like read it sometimes they don't make any sense so anyway hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side What's left? The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wasteland. 
dance through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways soil that we had already we might go back today um, and go get that we'll see I think Rob's supposed to be home in like an hour and a half two hours so we'll probably just go together and go pick up the soil Bathroom is clean, took a couple hours. It is 5.30 right now. Good morning. We are making some breakfast. I have this Power Crunch bar. I cut up some strawberries and putting them in this bowl with yogurt. And I added chia seeds. And last night we ended up going to Home Depot so we got the soil and some other things that we needed for the house. Right now it's 11.30 and I'm just now making breakfast. So I woke up at like 7.45 and I got up to get ready to go work out because I was going to a 9.15 workout class. I woke up and was like, like dizzy. Just could not get my balance, could not stand up, felt very nauseous. And I think it's because I am dehydrated. So this morning I came in the kitchen, got my water bottle, filled it with ice water, and then I added a liquid IV. Yeah. So this is the packet that I put in my water just to kind of like speed up the hydration process. The only thing I've done so far is lay in bed and I booked a facial appointment for next week. Anyway, all right, we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna eat this. It looks pretty good. These Power Crunch bars are not vegan, just as not by I'm. Um, they're like a wafer covered in, I like salted caramel. So this one's like covered in caramel. It literally tastes like dessert. And I was just kind of craving that. So I'll see you guys outside. I think we're going to meditate, journal, and then read. Oh, I'll show you the new book I have. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. And I saw Hunter and Julia Havens mention this. 
and I've been looking for just like quick, short, good reads lately. Um, yeah, we're gonna eat this and go sit outside. Got some, some vitamin D and some air. <laughs> outside I walked out and the clouds started to come out and it started misting so I brought everything in here I have my agenda my book and my journal and then Kaya is right here <laughs> hanging out so she came in too because she does not like to be cold right and you don't like the rain do you? mentioned I use headspace you can choose how long you want to meditate for I usually try to do 10 minutes and what I love is like they have these little quotes at the end and this one says not allowing the past to ruffle us or the future to distract us we sit and appreciate each passing moment still quiet present in the world so I just really love that I start my day with a practice that is calming and centering and aligning and then at the end of it like I always have a positive message to look at at the end of my meditation and then that kind of sets me up for my journaling and for me personally I just write down my thoughts in the morning I'm not strategic about it I don't feel pressured to have it be perfect it's not about perfection that's something that I struggled with at first was my meditation practice being perfect and no one interrupting me and not allowing my mind to like focus on you know whatever sound was happening outside like it's gonna happen if you are interested in starting these practices if you don't do them just be gentle with yourself. It does take time. It's not perfect ever. Same thing with journaling. It might just be you're writing down like three things you're grateful for or something that has been on your mind that's been taking up space that's either positive or negative. Sometimes I will sit here and journal for like a half hour and sometimes it's five minutes. this planner and I'm just going to update it I decided to book a facial appointment this morning for June 3rd so I want to make sure that I put that in my calendar for today I have one at 3 30 and then one at 5 p.m. later so I just wanted to confirm those and then get this treated and then we're just gonna read for a little bit I think I'm gonna read for one hour it's 12 13 so I think at 1 15 I'm gonna set a timer so that way I can spend some time sort of cleaning up the house a little bit before I head out to 
my 3.30 appointment. thirty. I'm heading to work because I have a client at three, which was originally supposed to be later, but she moved it up, which is great. Um, so I just took a shower real quick. We just had a late start to the day today, <laughs> but I took a shower real quick and then we're going to head there. I'm going to train her and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight because Rob has a concert that he's going to with one of his friends at MSG at Madison Square Garden. So right now I'm just gonna head to Rye and I will see you guys after. I am in trouble. Yeah, I let you down yet again. I'm a villain to you. So sudden. It's a riddle to please you. I guess I'm a need to take my time to say my pride again. Is a pain some right for the sake of just making amends? All right, it's a little bit later. I've just been editing this vlog for the past hour. I came home, had dinner, walked this one and I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here <laughs>